Defense of the Bulldog versus Pioneer Bank. Starting lineup for Clint Central. Number five, Carolyn Davidson. There we go, the starters for Clinton Central, Davison, Whiteman, Robbins, Serber, and Parkinson. For the Panthers, Stricker, Hopper, McKaig, Hathaway, and McGrew. Parkinson and Hathaway are gonna jump here for us in the 2023-2024 Lady Panthers basketball season is about to get underway here finally on November 14th. You hear me all right? Okay. Jump is up, and it is Clinton Central with the ball first. Shot off the mark, no good. Rebound, Parkinson comes away with it and she is good from 10 feet. Parkinson puts the... And some confusion there by the Panthers and a quick turnover, so bucket by Parkinson and a turnover by the Panthers. Gives the ball back over here to Clinton Central. Davison gets around McKaig. Can't get it to go. Rebound. And we got a foul coming on Stricker, the first of the game, her first. Keg goes down, that's gonna be out off of Clinton Central, so a turnover, gives the ball back over to the Panthers. Stricker gets it into Hopper. Hopper chucks it across half court, another turnover here. Panthers haven't got the ball past half court yet. And the jump ball, and that will be Pioneer's ball. Stricker almost picked up her second foul there with uh, barely two minutes gone, or a minute, two seconds gone. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Clinton Central. It will be Pioneer's ball, they'll take it out underneath. Stricker will trigger inbound, 6.49 to go, just getting underway here at the cage. Tipped out, and luckily the Panthers are gonna keep possession there.
Tricker three-pointer off the mark. Rebound to Parkinson. Davidson brings it across. And we got a foul coming. Davidson will go to the free throw line, shooting two. And that foul is going to be on Hopper, her first, team's second. That will send Carly Davidson to the free throw line, shooting two. Davison good on the first, three nothing, Clinton Central, 6.28 to go here in the first period. Second one on the way and good for Davison. She's got two. Hopper from 18, shot off the mark. Stricker fighting for the rebound, but it's going to go out off of the Panthers. Two three zone here for Pioneer. Get it into Parkinson. Shot no good. Rebound though on the weak side to the Bulldogs. Parkinson is good. She's got four. It's six nothing. McGrew drives to the bucket. Shot does not go for Julia, but she's going to go to the free throw line shooting two. And that's going to be the first on Sarah Parkinson as Julia McGrew will attempt the first free throws of the evening for the Panthers. 6 0, 538 to go here. And that first one is off. Second one for McGrew is no good as well. Hathaway, though, gets the rebound. Stricker's pass is deflected, saved by Parkinson, so a turnover for the Panthers. And Parkinson with the rebound, put back, and she's got six, eight nothing. Foul coming on Clinton Central. It is going to be on Serber, her first team second. It was on the floor, so it will be McKaig triggering the inbounds. Stricker three-pointer short, rebound to Davison. And Stricker picks up the foul. It's her second. On the other side of the court, picking up the foul. Lois Lair checks into the game for Pioneer with Stricker on the bench with two fouls. Nice cut there, Davison, and that's blocked by Hathaway. Davidson comes up with the loose ball, driving into the paint, kicking it out. Whiteman, and the shot is off the mark by Robbins. Panthers get the ball, 420 to go here in this first quarter. Hathaway puts it in from 12. Kenzie Hathaway gets the Panthers on the board. Elsa, Elsa. 
A lot of contact there on Davison, and she gets uh, the ball knocked out of bounds. Casey Webb checks in for Pioneer. Davison misses, gets her own rebound. That one high off the glass and good. That was Whiteman for two. And another turnover, the fifth already here by the Panthers, 10-2. And Coach Barry wants a timeout. We'll take a break and be right back. All right, 3.38 to go here in quarter number one, 10-2 in favor of the Clinton Central Bulldogs. It'll be Bulldogs ball coming out of the timeout. Webb gets a hand on it, knocks it out of bounds. Good defense there by the senior. Parkinson from three. Nine for, for Parkinson. And the lead is 11. Rue turns it over. And Davison adds three more. Robbins, right wing, off the mark, rebound Whiteman. And that's Cerber, our sorry. She's going to go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Webb, her first. Team's fourth. Stricker and Hopper getting ready to check back in here with 2.29 to go. Cerber, good on the first. McGrew and McKaig going to take a break as Hopper and Stricker check back in. One more free throw here for Serber. Off the back iron and drops down and is good. Turnover on the Panthers, their eighth of the quarter. Pointer off the back iron, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Pioneer ball.
Riley Dellinger going to check in. Number 11. For Clinton Central. I believe that's the first sub for Coach Helmick. Jump ball will stay. Next one will be home. Clinton Central ball. Robbins off the mark. Parkinson offensive rebound. Put back is good for Parkinson. She's got 11. Hopper drives in, shot off the mark, rebound. Hopper gets it, gets it over to Hathaway. Can't put it in, rebound Parkinson. Nice cut by Davison. She puts it in for two. Carly Davison has seven. And that'll do it after one, it is. Clinton Central 22, Pioneer 2. We'll be back in just a moment for second quarter action. Here for the Panthers, it is Clinton Central 22 2 after 1 here at the cage. So we'll see if Pioneer can clean it up a little bit. 10 turnovers already here for Pioneer in the first quarter. The Pioneer ball. We start quarter number two. Keg three pointer long. Rebound on the weak side. Server. That goes through the hands of Abby Harris, who checked in at the quarter. Lair with the put back bucket for two. <laughs> Davison into Parkinson, and that's going to be a foul. I believe Hopper is going to call for her second. It is going to be on Hopper. First team foul here of the second quarter. If you're a Pioneer fan, you might not have uh, experienced this yet, but the fouls reset at the end of each quarter now. It's not 16 fouls and then one and one. It's five team fouls per quarter and then uh, two shots. And so that's a new rule this year. And somebody turned the lights out. One out of two for Parkinson. And 
And it was out of bounds. Another turnover for the Panthers. Oh, too easy inside. Parkinson wide open. Half the way, off the mark on the shot, the rebound the server. Davison kicks it ahead. It's gonna be another foul on Stricker, her third. Tipped by Hathaway, and it's going to be the last touch by Clinton Central. So the Panthers, good defense there. going to pick up the foul. That's going to send Parkinson back to the free throw line. Clinton Central is going to take a timeout, so we'll take a break and be right back. 4.53 to go here in the first half. It's all Clinton Central 25 to four here in the opener for the Panthers. Parkinson at the free throw line shooting two for the Bulldogs. <laughs> 15 for Parkinson. Second one, no good. McKaig able to corral that rebound. Grew shot off the mark, rebound to Whiteman. Kicks it up ahead to Parkinson, over. No good, Parkinson with the rebound and put back for Sarah Parkinson.
Bucket is good for Serber. She's got four. Super on the back. Out of bounds. <laughs> Stricker and Hopper back in. Stricker's got three, Hopper's got two fouls. Hopper takes it to the basket, no good. Rebound, Parkinson. Robbins on the basket. And Robbins puts in the basket, her first. Stricker looking for McGrew, can't find the angle, and out of bounds. on Hopper, her third. Team's fourth, they're calling that on the floor. Hathaway back in for Hopper. Shot off the mark, rebound, and that's gonna be a foul on McGrew. That'll be her first. Long. Emily Long at the free throw line, shooting two. Short on the first. Good on the second, Hathaway gets the rebound. Layer comes up with it, loses it. Gonna be out off of Pioneer, so it'll be Clinton Central ball. <laughs> Minute 53 to go here in the first half. It's been all Clinton Central in this one. There's a deflection and a steal. And Jocelyn Kane is going to go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Davidson, her first. And Kane good on the first. Casey Webb going to check back in for Stricker. One more free throw coming here for Kane. Off the mark, rebound Serber. 
Davis into the basket. It's going to be last touched by the Bulldogs. Called for the travel. And Coach Helmick wants a timeout. We'll take a break here and come back with more from the cage. And Bulldogs ball here out of the timeout by Coach Helmick. Davidson drives to the paint, shot off the mark, and loose ball, and it's gonna be a foul, I believe, on Clinton Central. That will be on Serber, her second. Team's second. Touched by the Panthers, so it will be Clinton Central inbounding it here under their base, uh, their basket on their baseline. The defense there by Kane knocks it out of bounds. They were looking for Davison on that wraparound. Davison, nice pass in, and the bucket by Serber. Serber has six. Layer, and it's going to be out off of the Panthers. 24 seconds to go here in this first half. the way I got a piece of that one by Serber. Foul coming here on Kane. It's going to be on the floor, but that is the fifth team foul. So two shots coming here for Davison. Kane's first. Ten seconds to go here. Davidson two for two from the free throw line here. Three for three. Eight points for the sophomore. Back iron no good. Offensive rebound. Jump ball. Central ball with six seconds to go. And 
That'll do it here for the first half. It is Clinton Central up 35 to five. Take a break, come back with second half action from Pioneer High School here in just a moment. Pioneer will start with the ball here as we get going in quarter number three. Looking to see if they can get some improvement here off of that first half. Stricker long on that three-point attempt. Davison around McKeg, shot off the mark, rebound, Hathaway grabs it. Parkinson inside for two. Davison off the mark. Offensive rebound, but it goes to McKay. Foul on Serber, that's her third. First team foul here of the quarter. Parkinson kicks it out. Pass out, Robbins. Two, Whiteman finds the bucket. Gets her own rebound. She gets fouled, so she's going to go to the free throw line. That's going to be on Parkinson, her second. Stricker gets on the scoreboard. Her first one is good. Ziegler and Webb in. Hannah Ziegler checks in for the first time. Stricker makes them both.
Nice dump off pass to Robbins. And Stricker's going to get fouled. She's going to go to the line shooting three. Foul is Juan Whiteman, her first. Good on the first. Two more here for the junior. Good on the second. Most layer checking in for Hathaway. One more free throw here for Stricker. Makes it. Three for three, five for five. She's got five, it's 45-10. Baseline jumper, Parkinson off the mark. Lair might have got away with a walk there. Shot off the mark there for the freshman. And ball out of bounds over to the Panthers. Ziegler is going to go to the free throw line. She gets fouled on the shot. It's going to be the third on Sarah Parkinson. Coach Helmick wants a timeout with 2.26 to go here in the third period. Take a quick break and be right back. All right, out of the timeout by Coach Helmick. Anna Ziegler has one more free throw. And off the back iron, no good. Rebound fought for, and the Bulldogs come out with it. Last touched by Clinton Central. Running clock now, it's a 35 point lead for Clinton Central. Lois Lair hits the three. Parkinson. It is good for Ziegler. It's going to be on Stricker, her fourth.
Webb gets the rebound. That's going to do it here after three, 48-15. Clinton Central in control. We'll take a break. Be back with fourth quarter action here from Pioneer High School. It's been a bit of a struggle here. They did clean up the turnovers there a little bit in that third quarter. And uh, did a little bit better job there. I think Clinton Central kind of took their uh, foot off the gas a little bit as well as would be expected, 13 to 10. Clinton Central still with the advantage there in that third quarter. Be Bulldogs ball here to start the fourth. Hopper, Hathaway, Ziegler, Kane, and McKaig out on the floor for the Panthers as we start the fourth quarter. And Hopper is going to add her name to the list of Panthers with four fouls. First team foul here of the quarter. And McGrew going to check in for Hopper. And McGrew gets a deflection there. So Clinton Central will try it on the other side. Nice inbounds, and that's going to be, oh, I guess it was the last touch by the Panthers. Thought maybe Davison had a hand on it last, but uh, I'm going to say it was touched by Ziegler, I think. He's going to go out of bounds. Turnover, Clinton Central. So the Panthers will have a day to practice and get ready for their second game as uh, they'll be hosting the Knox Redskins for the last time conference game-wise as Knox is going to be moving to a new conference starting next year. Might still play them as a non-conference game. I don't know. We'll see how that schedule plays out, but uh, definitely be the last time they see them as a conference opponent. Davidson with the bucket. 12 for Davidson, and the foul is going to be on Kinsey Hathaway, her second. And one is good. Hathaway off the mark on that shot. Whiteman with the rebound. Davison. And that shot is good. Stricker takes it in 4-2. And Davidson back the other way, two more. McKeg hits. Yeah, McKeg 4-3. out. McKeg going to get called for the foul, her first. Foul. Robbins, Robbins with two from the free throw line. That one is off the front iron, no good. Casey Webb will check back in for McGrew. It's 
It's good to see Julia McGrew found both of her shoes this year. She was uh, wearing uh, one of each color there last year. Uh, just giving her a hard time there. But, uh, Four twenty-six to go here in this one. Some subs coming in for Coach Helmick. Shot off the mark, and McKeg is going to fight for that loose ball, and it will be a jump. And it will be Panthers' ball. Twenty and eleven. Riley Dellinger in. And number 20 is Anna Mae Metzinger. going to be on Dellinger, her first. And we'll put McKenna Stricker at the free throw line, shooting two. Off on the first. One out of two, she has eight. And last touched by Clinton Central, so the Panthers will get the ball back. Weaver checks in. For the Panthers. McKeg three pointer, got it, man McKeg. go over to the Panthers.
And one for Kane. No lane violation there, a couple into the paint. Kane converts on the three-point play. And that's gonna do it here, the final 57-27.